Meet Mr. Sugar, the CEO of the Big Sugar's Candy Factory. Every year, Mr. Sugar prepares to send his employees to the annual Worldwide Candy Conference. Though business is going well, this year he can't seem to ignore the warnings from his CFO about the factory's rising energy costs, an expense that might force him to cancel the promised trip. To control the factory's energy expenses and optimize energy consumption, Mr. Sugar decides to deploy Panoramic Power's energy management solution. This is Joe. His job is to deploy panoramic power sensors around the factory in order to monitor the factory's energy consumption. Setting a client account using panoramic power's deployment tool is fast and easy and consists of four simple steps. First, build an account and site hierarchy. Second, map the panels. Third, install the sensors. And finally, validate the sensors reception. Let's start with step one. Build an account and site hierarchy. A typical site is hierarchically divided into buildings. The buildings are divided into zones and zones into electrical panels. Joe explores the factory site to find that it has three main buildings. Creating a site in the Panoramic Powers Deployment Tool software is easy. Joe simply clicks on Add, enters the site's name, chooses a currency, and fills the average kilowatt-hour cost. By doing so, he ensures that Mr. Sugar will be able to see cost reports of both consumed and saved energy. He fills in the time zone, the site's address, and the site's coordinates. The coordinates allow Mr. Sugar to see his site on the map in Panoramic Power's Power Radar application. Next, Joe creates the site's buildings. He enters the first building's name and clicks Save. He repeats that for the next building. Then, Joe creates the building zones. He selects the building's row and adds a new zone. He names the zone, enters a short description, and clicks Save. Joe adds the other zones as well. Step 2. Map the panels. Joe begins with mapping the first floor. He identifies the machines that need to be monitored and explores the different panels. Next, he returns to the deployment tool to map them accordingly. Joe adds a panel, names it, and enters the voltage feeding it. He remembers to specify the power factor of the panel as well. Joe repeats that for the rest of the panels. Step 3. Install the sensors. Next, Joe has to install Panoramic Power's wireless sensors. Joe simply snaps the sensor on the device's wire. He enters the panel mapping screen chooses a new three-phase circuit to configure. Joe enters the sensor's name and its description. He chooses a load type, enters its rate, and selects the appropriate sensor type. To complete the sensor's configuration, Joe matches the sensor's unique ID. Joe completes the sensor installation. Step 4. Validate the sensor's reception. Joe sets up the bridge next to the electrical panel. Now, he is ready to check the sensor's reception by monitoring their activity using the deployment tool. Yes, sensor reception is excellent and the sensor is accurately measuring the current. After a quick configuration process, Mr. Sugar can optimize his energy consumption, improve operational efficiency, and support corporate sustainability programs. Now he can quietly send his employees to the upcoming Worldwide Candy Conference.